Welcome to The Deep Dive, where we explore the lyrics and stories that shape the future of the music industry. I'm your host, Tumizi, and we're going to dive deep into the creative process and industry insights behind some emerging artists. So turn up the volume and get ready to explore the music that makes waves. This is The Deep Dive. All right. Ha ha. Deep Dive Podcast. Splash. Too easy, yeah. We're on episode three. Trips. We're going for the trips. So we had to go for the dawn. Yes, sir. All in our time, it is. Live from the West I baby himself, we have um, Joe Dawn. What's he saying? Just stay humble enough, brother. Thanks for having me. What you see with you? I cool. No, I cool. I in a re- unrealistically good mood, which is... Not something I accustom being in, but yeah, it's um, it working out pretty decent for everybody involved. That's what's up. So, the hitless. Um, nah, matter of fact, jumping, I jumping, jumping, yeah. jumping, jumping. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you watch previous episodes. So we do as like I guess is the first, the first time I guess you're on the show. Now it's the duty. It's like a building of a profile, if you will. So I guess years to come, people will be like, oh, yeah, he really, I mean, he was on this thing, but he really give his story, story on this, um, on thing, this platform, on this thing first now. So let me get, let me get, why, why rap? When rap, why rap, how rap? And who rap? <laughs> I mean, why rap? Because... That's the way I would be able to express myself the best, the clearest. Um, I mean, coming from Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean is like... Yeah. Is it Soka. A, Soka, dancehall. Let me get a little Trinidad. You know what I mean? And big up the whole Trinidad movement and all that, but that's not really my vibe. Yeah. Hip-hop always been my mode of expression. Even just from the music that I consume, it's not like if I would just sit on and... And again, no disrespect. Sit down and just bump soca whole day or sit down and bump dance all whole day type shit. Is, is the, the weirdest thing with that is, I don't think anybody does. No, nobody does that. People just do that with Calypso. People just do that with um, dance all. People just do that with reggae. People do not do that with soca. I don't care. Like, both of us would have, we, both of us would have grow up in similar situations where we come up in the disco era. When I say disco, school disco. Mm-hmm. There was not played soca for the whole party. Okay. You so, you got little segments of the soca here and there. But which, which was like 10 minutes. Yeah. And all bulk it is. Rap. A little bashman dance sort of thing. You know what I mean? And men when he started really wanting to um, rap when Uchi Wali come out. Prior to that, it had no whining. <laughs> it had no whining. Um... No whining flex. If, I, if you could get one point in the comment section, all right, click like and subscribe. I hate saying that, but yes, how to do it. Algorithm, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah, but so is at which age, at what point you say rap was fundamental? Who you could remember to be your earliest, um, was like hey, listening experience, yeah, of a rap. Well, what comes to mind is back in '96 here in um, Tupac and Biggie. And that's just like in passing because I young as hell them days. 90, okay, so 96, you'd have be do, 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 like seven, 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 seven. Yeah. So I wrong that now because so 96 that's is just like you're hearing it on the radio or you're just watching, and them days is MTV. Oh so you just when MTV it played t- music. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That's all yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, is. Just listening to that and just seeing it around. That's the earliest memory of hip hop in my life. And then, and then when you pick when you pick that now, it was like because I guess it could coming from coming from this part of the world, people will expect you. They next they expect the soca here, but specifically yeah. they don't expect the dance hall now. So mm-hmm. then I show it had like a pivotal moment when it could be like because. Like we 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 we've been around each other for a while. So for a minute. Yeah. So I when because I to tell me you to be I don't remember you interrupt like that. I know I remember yeah. from from 
What oh yeah, I share yeah, come on. That was about the only time. I was like, oh three. Yeah. That oh, was about four. the only time I can remember you specifically and not rapping, but just like like rapping now. Like remember yeah. when the idea take that, rewind it back, and then it was you, me, and the next fella in the back of the class. And like um say it that and then for it that I don't know. Yeah, so, I remember it it was it was more men like Young Rod Isaac. Pax. Who was on the hip hop and thing? You know Pax was I mean? on there. You know what I mean? But um, I think for me, it became something that I really wanted to do later on in life. Like I would just listen to it and, you know, as a youth man, you're just thinking about uh, maybe I could do something different. I could do something unconventional. And the type of music that I would get into is, it was never the regional genres that I would have gravitated to. But because I know you was like real into pasta, pa. it had a huge pasta, yeah, pasta sure, portion. Sure. But that was more dancing. It was never yeah. like sing it, sing but, it. No, but like you had the only dances. Like my first time seeing pasta, pasta was I think you showed me my first pasta, pasta. I think I was like, what the hell is this? You know what has been? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Pondy Ravan. Nah, this was this was after this was from back from back. Yeah, this is yeah, um yeah. room ram like. This is mm. proper watching the video when jumping Rage off. and bull and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, was, yeah. He, was nice with the, he was nice with the moves, you know. Because, yeah, yeah he was... If, like, if, you ever, if you could ever get... I didn't have camera phones then, so you wouldn't get any. I mean, it's hard, but it was real like, dog shit quality. You so it's not like if you would be able to pull find, back up something. But yeah, at that point in time, so like it was... Because I remember it was sports. Like you sports clubbing. It was more yeah. like clubbing. Now this wasn't clubbing, it was clubbing. Like these are zen... These yeah. are um, Blue Tantra, Euphoria, Euphoria yeah. the and you used to God hit, and, and you used to hit that all the time. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then, okay, so this is, had to be 2007, 2008, 2007, 2008. Yeah. So what, when was the rap? When was the... Rap was actually way later than that, you know. Oh, wait, I oh. mean, like 2008, 2009, that's when I moved to Grenada. And that's when it is a link up with some rappers that was over in Grenada. So please call names. I want to know because I want to get them here as well. Oh no, well them fellas out in Toronto and but, um LAB I, yeah, the, yeah. The legends. Yeah. Shout yeah. to my boy CV and my boy John God one time. But yeah. Them in them in the six now. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So and I mean the six million Toronto. Oh no! He, not, no, not, no, no, the you actual. Have, you, have, you have to be careful oh, with these things word. here in Trinidad and oh, Tobago. Oh my boy! Yeah, no, okay. I mean? When I say when I say the six, I mean Toronto, Canada. Yeah, that's four four one six. Let it be known. Four one six. <laughs> we. I'm not affiliated with any. I'm a round, At wrong all. peg in a square hole. He's not that. We ain't. We ain't been like. We ain't about that life. We ain't about all. that life. Um, but yeah, bigger policy in way. Cut the flick. Do the thing. Uh, I, but we over here with it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I far away here with it. But Disclaimer. Yeah. Well, but yeah. Um, so, um, I link with those guys doing. They were doing hip hop, and it was very important for me to be more on the executive side of things. So I could right, see yeah. how the music business does work and things. So I went into management, and from that, that's where it just. Being in the studio with fellas. Because you had, like, you had a few artists well in them. Like, yeah. you had them. A couple of... Um, I think Tammy. Was, was rocking with Tommy. I wasn't really managing Tommy or nothing like that. But, you know, that was just the collective that was moving around. Oh, you okay. know, um, I was kind of doing some work with Josh Berkeley. Um, amazing R&B vocalist. Believe he out in Kentucky right now. So everybody just so sure. everybody just float. I guess, I guess some stars and red, white, and black. Get red, white, and blue on the flags and yeah. Out. Everybody just branch out and they're doing their thing same mm-hmm. way, you know. But um, it was real important for me to see the executive side of things so that when I actually started to get into music, pursuing it for myself, I had a basis of understanding of how the ins and outs are. And how things just kind of work. So you knew then when you was doing the management with them that, hey, I really want to be in on, in front. That's when I was oh. kind of feeling it a little bit. I wasn't really on that wave to be in front and actually pick up a mic. But it's like, you know, you're in the studio, a, a bunch of creative energy just in the air all around you. You know, you might just string together a little one, two. I want like, I want like, I want like. I mean, and I was like, ooh. 
could probably do this shit. And then he was like, yeah. Oh, no, he's like, yeah, get reaction. Then, oh, man, I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Nah, because men, men kind of push me to get in the studio. Like, um, big up G-Spawn, um, Crispin. This is this all in Green in Greenada. Greenada. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He actually, he was the first person that pulled me into the studio. And that's the first song that I ever actually do with him. I can't even remember the name of the song. Like, oh, it never get released? It never get released? Yeah, it get released. Did it? Sorry. Did it get released, by? I don't think so, you know. It's always, you know what's killed, but it's like the, the myth, the myth is always just be shrouded in what, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, we'll never get that. These pivotal moments that actually form the thing and actually shape it, it yeah. kind of just in the ether. Yeah. But, yeah, so, for me, actually getting in front of the mic, come way later, like in 2015. Okay, so it's pre-co- okay, pre-COVID. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, yeah, so it's, it's like talking about the snap in, in Avengers. You had to talk about pre-COVID, post-COVID, because it's pre-COVID. So 2015, yeah, yeah. that would be, would be the surrounding, mm. that would be, would be the surrounding things. I Wait think, a um, then the things in music, then would be the, the trend, then the, if you can, um, I, I like I I can't remember. Now about 2015. Now about 2015, Drake is top boy by now. Okay, so Drake already. Yeah, he already gone. Clear days after, nothing was the same. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The the trifecta Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. That's they exactly. already established. Right. Um, popcorn out. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Popcorn, popcorn out. This sure. pre, this pre Tory Lanez. Pre Tory. The days when Tory Lanez kind of now coming up on the scene. That's when it is. I think C it was. 2000. That's like that's close to 2018, somewhere around yeah, there. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So and then of course he was, yeah, he, he, he was back in, he was back clubbing, like. Um. Or oh. that's that's after I managed Nati and Tondo. So that's that's actually when I was real low key, you know. That's like the hotel we was managing over in Grenada. Oh. That hotel just got sell over, and. I was just, I think, finishing up my last year in college. And I we was just... We get too fully educated. That's the same. You see, if you want to do this thing, you have to be on some level intellectual. You can't just oh, be... Sure. You can't just be, I just got bread, I just spread, I did. You know what I mean? You have to be able to string the words together and actually put it together in a cohesive manner. Yeah, no, but cohesive. Yeah. Structure. Buzz That's with alert, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put cohesive in the, uh, in, the, in the SEO so we can get higher things. So if you just Google cohesive somehow, this will just pop up somehow, but I don't know. Yeah. Not sure, but we will see. But yeah. Um, yeah, so um, 2015 is when the thing really started. I was going to drop my first mixtape, um, Uncharted Territory. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I remember, because yeah. that was like... Well, I, and this is would be the third time or the third epo- third episode where I was just like, it had a project I like, and then I want to get all my music in one spot. So I just listened to Spotify. Yeah. And not on SoundCloud. I, I mean, I remember in them days, DSP is not even out yet. Eh? Oh, that is true. That is, no, no, oh, I'm not oh, talking oh, about, no, I talk, I, no, I talk about, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. if I want to go back retroactively, it's like, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll take out, because at this time, you wasn't you done. No. He was Big Drew. Yeah. Correct. Right. Correct. So he was Big Drew then. If I could go on Spotify, type in that, it's like, the loops after run through. Mm. Just to get like this, it's like, I'm just going to listen to, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, real shit, real shit, real shit. I had to just go and listen to something mainstream or something that's readily available instead of having to go all over the place to yeah. find somebody that I'm actually interested in listening to. I, I, you, and I mean, that's, that's something that from the hit list onward. What was the hit list? What was the hit list? The hit list is the new project that we're working on. Um, 100% original music, all original beats. I write all my shit. So, um, yeah, from the hit list onward, all DSPs type shit. Um, but the reason why I didn't put stuff like Uncharted Territory or... Um, that song with the... Next up. That's the second tape. And... The song with uh, I, I like I tried to just, remember. Just throw out half a bar and I'll find uh, it for you. I know. Remember, it was about that chick. It was like I was like, "Come on, lime." It was like it's not like "Come on, lime," but it was like, "Um, come through." Come. It, How about you slide through? Yeah, 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 yeah. All that gonna be on the hit list. 
Oh, okay. Cause yeah, yeah. It, so it's been a while. I've been looking for. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been and a then minute. some people I know is auto delete the chats now, so I can't go back to get. <laughs> if you switch WhatsApp or you didn't back it up, that song is in. Yeah, that, the that's, NSA has that. <laughs> that's a that's a favorite for people that actually share out with. Um, Big up chromatics on OER radio. He just be beating it on OER radio right through on his program, The Grind. I get, I, I, I get chromatics here, you know, because chromatics is like a staple in. Oh, oh for sure. And like, he real normal. No, I get no, I legit. I get no, I had it because. But anyway, we're doing it you. He's definitely one of the founding fathers of this hip hop shit here in Trinidad. And he paved enough we were like but well, you get to the, I, I like I want to focus here because <laughs> that's always just going on a tangent when I talk about chromatics it's like yeah but anyway when I talk to him I can tangent all the way um was was going to say yes so that one song so that song definitely wasn't even it's come through yeah come, come through. through definitely going to be in the hit list 100% and it called me on Spotify. 100%. And I could actually be like, yeah, well, uh, well, all DSB, Spotify, Apple Music, yeah. Google Music, um, everything. You know what I mean? But truthfully, mm -hmm. so the timeline is kind of 2015 yeah. UCT. UCT. Uncharted, Uncharted territory. territory. Yeah. 2017, next up. Right. That's like five tracks. Um, why did he change from Big Drew to, to, to Jordan? Jordan. Um, because I think Big Drew was an era in life. And Jordan is more in totality who I am. Big Drew is more of an era. If you understand what I'm point? saying. It's yeah. Like point. It's like a moment in time for me. Like when I start coming into my own as an individual, and I still trying to navigate and figure shit out. Not 100 percent there. In terms of musically. You mean not only just musically, as a, just as a person, like because okay, 2000, say 2017, you'd have be 27. 27. So at this point you're still okay. Uh, are taking it seriously, mm -hmm. are not taking it seriously, like what I want to do with life, or is like, okay, I definitely know I'm gonna rap, but mm -hmm. it's like, okay, how I had to figure out how I'm going to do it. Because mm -hmm. remember, at that time as well, I over in Tobago managing my family restaurant and bar on Store Bay Beach. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, yeah, unplug it. I quick mean, plug, quick plug. big up um, Waving Gallery. Waving Gallery. Yeah. I, I, I've only been to Tobago like one, two times. Yeah, so once you go to Store Bay Beach facility, the restaurant and bar upstairs, that's my people. That's no, my people yeah. vibe. Go on, go on. We mentioned Joe Don, I don't know. He might get Nah, don't mention Jordan. Like, go and spend your money. Go and spend you know what I mean? Support me the right sport, way. So, no, when I say mention him, I, I don't know. Yeah, my get handle nice. Now, when I say handle nice, not free stuff, but like... Now, you gotta make it clear, huh, boy, free, because people oh, might feel like, you know, buy one, get one free just because you mention Jordan. No, no mention it. It's like, oh, you know, you know, wherever, and then you, you actually get good service because it's Trinidad and Tobago, so... Yeah, I mean, well, then even I mean, if you mention Jordan, like, they don't know my Jordan up there. Oh, good point. Because it's more my, my real name. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, well then, uh, yeah. Don't mention his name. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't mention. Don't mention that. You can get out. But um, so yeah, at that point in time, is yeah for sure I want to do rap, and that's definitely the career path that I'm going down. But I don't navigate how I'm going on do it because you know, you gotta live, you gotta eat, you gotta make money, and coming from the Caribbean, that's not the genre that profitable like that. I mean, current day, it's real different. Because yeah. Yeah. the, I would say the musical palette of consumers here in Trinidad and Tobago evolved has a changed. lot. Has changed. Yeah. COVID. So, I will. I will. Yeah. COVID because, was a good, a horrible thing, but like it had some positives. It had silver linings for sure. It had positives that came yeah. out it. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you're in the house and like I say, you're not going and just sit on and. Bump so right you know, boy. You could only bump. That's how that's how Zest music and uh, that's how Zest music sprouts. So nah, I mean Zest, sprout. what, Zest pop before that. Like if you keep in it a buck, Zest pop before that. What? Yeah, so any of them done bust already? No, I'm not talking about like Trini Bad. You know, I talking about like Zest music when it was just like strictly in strictly steam, steam, steam songs. No, boy, they go and them was cutting the flick already too. Prior to that, 
Oh, yeah, uh, to that, yeah. I don't know because I know I get on it late that I jump on the train early. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. was this? What was this, right? So, so, so your time right now a little bit off. off but, yeah. yeah, fellas, done cut in the flick. But I understand what you're saying because for sure, within the COVID, I mean, we wasn't in none of them. But you yeah, were saying yeah, everybody yeah. private, just something. Yeah, please private. Then I was in there. I can already speak for me. I don't know what nobody else. I was I was in my house. I was <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> but um yeah, 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 everybody private just something and it was it was a sticky situation. And yeah, yeah. And these songs when it was just like and what I like about it, bare bones. Take it down bare bones. But then when you watch your style now, your style, I don't know, is it is it's like almost like neo jazz neo jazz. Now, now, when I say jazz, I, um, D'Angelo, what D'Angelo is doing, neo soul kind of beats, mm. somewhat neo soul. Mm, mm-hmm. That's definitely part of it for sure. And then is kind of also diverge into somewhat dancehall. Mm-hmm. Then is somewhat R and B, and then is well, it's not so. <laughs> the only thing is just yeah. miss, it's just miss the Zuka part. And then it's just trap. Uh, and, well, yeah, that's trap. Hip hop. Like, j- I, I, I waited for the but drill, but like drill is like a different thing. All I together. was never really a big fan of the drill thing. And all. And I, I know, be no, because I think drill just has a, like a dangerous connotation. It's always for you know, sure. It's always like yeah, nah, yeah, nah. That's that, that's not that, anymore thing. I mean, I, shout to the people that are doing it for and, sure because it's a lane where you could get some traction and you could actually get your career off the ground. But then, but sonically. It don't really appeal to me like that, personally. And then, um, I mean, I could turn up to it, huh? but I'm talking about like with my creativity and in terms of my output. Yeah, it don't really resonate with me like that. But um, because because like last night I was um I was like went to our mutual friend of ours and um okay. and he was like and he was just like oh wait no, he's rap so things so I was playing songs so I was like things was like we think whatever and then he was and then he says something that was. To me, it's like it's the first thing now is like, yeah. When you write do the lines, mm. it's almost like a kind of old you yeah, have listened to old lady bastard. Old B. Yeah. Old B. Yeah, yeah. How sometimes you like you just go on a whole thing and it's like sometimes it wouldn't rhyme and it would just be like, but you just keep the flow and the flow is like, yeah, the flow real really nice, but then it don't rhyme. Yeah. But is that so is that conch in your mind, that conscious to not try to get filler, or is like Yeah, one hundred percent. Um I don't really believe in filler because with my music is it's a bit of telling a story with most of what I write because it's a very introspective type of thing. So like I say, it don't have to rhyme, but you will still see it come together. Because you know I, mean? I tell you, I, I, I remember I on Spotify, so I, I, don't know, I will order your market where you can get the music, by the way. I'll put the link in the description or whatever, but... Is that's where I so I had to listen to it over and over, over and over, over and over and again to know it. And I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, because I tell you, I was listening on the way back from uh, from Port of Spain to Five Rivers. We was just driving, listening to listen to this for like a couple of times, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we was just like back, sure. back, back to back. And because oh, like I call it shilling, you know shilling. I mean, off top, I can't remember shilling, shilling. I mean, no, I'll, 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 just, I'll, I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. No, 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 cut it out the damn thing because I was like, yeah, because it's you introduced me to shit like that. It's I know shit like because of you. Know. Dog, I remember I used to really smoke weed and think to her. <laughs> <laughs> if we keep it off, so, well, no, because, but then he, 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 he never used to be thing. He said he was more of a five river. It's, it's a cafe down there, global net, or whatever. And mm. then he more, but anyway, so me and him, me and him rocking, and he in the car, and we, uh, we played. It's like, yeah. Uh, Visor, because I was already yeah yeah Visor's rap. I was like, like yeah mm-hmm. Visor's rap. I was like yeah. He played it. So what do you think? And he was just like yeah. The flow, the flow, the flow, nice. The flow, nice. But then mm-hmm. it it was weird because it do rhyme sometimes, and it's like it's be one two three. It's like one line or two, and it's just a dip 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 dip. And then my justification was, well, ODB used to do the same thing. Yeah, shit. And you know, we watch. You, I, this, this, and I doubt that's why he was doing it. But like, oh, and they put ODB as one of the. Well, I don't know if this happened. I was like top twenty, but like he up there. Yeah, Wu Tang, sure. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I could see he's the only one who. I could see he's the only one with that do, does it in terms of like consciously make an effort. You know what? I'm not gonna use filler. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
I mean, I never look at it as that. And like, this is the first time that I get that kind of comparison. But for sure, it was important to me to not just put filler bars and things just to make it rhyme or just because it's a cool punch to just insert here so people will just get a wow factor. It's more about taking it into my will now, boy. Because you're, you're, I wouldn't say that you are a punchline rapper. Not you're, heavily. Not heavily. You're half punchline. Yeah. Because in the big... Where it count. Yeah, where it, where it matter. Where it's like, where it's more of a story. And it's definitely now, we know, this is thing like cell phone rappers. Remember cell phone rappers like, like Soldier Boy and stuff? Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't put it like, although I would say you do successful because you try to simplify it as best as possible. Okay. okay. But then, so your thing is more get the story out. Because all these songs is always be like a portrait that you're painting. I would say it like that. It's like, yeah. yeah this is, sure. if the song is you seen, um, I'm going to talk about it has specific gill because your theme, the themes that you would use in songs is typically be gills, which are gills, obviously. Romance. Yeah. Roman- or no, not just gills. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Ro- not specifically gills, but romance is never be. I'm going to fuck this nigga bitch. Yeah, that's me. It's never fuck this nigga bitch. And I mean, that's that never been me as a person. This is, the, which is one of the rare things I could say in terms of style wise, because in terms of, uh, sorry, in terms of themes, you would go into, yeah, having sex, yeah, whatever. Mm. But it never is having sex with this man girl or this man wife. It's always like, well, you single, I single, or we having consensual fun. Mm. And is as much as that is all we in a relationship kind of songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like I say, it's from, it's from real life shit that I've been through now. Right? So, for example, um, like the beginning of leaning. Mm. Um Honestly, it's easy just to go off on a tangent about women whose hearts are held for ransom. Hold that right there. Hold that right because we was going to do the breakdown. That's actually anything. We ain't going any breakdown yet. This is a little bit, but I, I don't want to jump the gut. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't want to jump the gut. But yeah, I'm just saying that to yeah. say that like it have things that it actually relate to that happen in my life. And it's not just about, all right, I could just pop short here. And, you know what I mean? And then... Anybody could do that shit. And then our next thing that has always come up is the, is always bring up the accidents. I mean, not you, always. No, no, I say always, but it's a yeah. common theme. Yeah, because we, it's, that's pivotal moments in life too. And it's pivotal. So it was three. So it was three accidents, yeah. same day. Three years it, on the trot. Twenty fifteen. Bam. All right. So now it was actually. 2013, I believe. That was the first one. That time frame. 2014, around that same time frame. 2015, around that same time frame. Oh, like so it wasn't the, was the same day. Okay. Because I was like, like... Around the same month kind of vibe now, boy. So it was kind of like... Do I go to hell, boy? Trying to get me out of here? No, but like, so we get way glean from... Was it like you had to slow down? Was it... Let's keep it with the focus on something else. It's like, um, uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a combination of, I really had to check myself. And I really had to check the company that I keep in. And you had to switch it, you had to switch it out. Yeah. And I mean, I think God just forced it out. And because it was like, for me, I'm the type of person, well, I used to be, because I'm not there anymore. I used to be the kind of person. <laughs> Why are the, it's like, what else do the whole what it? It's like, whoop, you just went there. And I was like, whoop. I'd like, so it used to be, but you're not. But I'm not there anymore because, I don't know. I probably wouldn't be here. Big up God. Um, oh my God. Yeah, let, let me, let, we're not getting too morbid, but what I'm saying is, um, God kind of had to move them people out of my way because I'm the type of person Floor upon floor upon floor, I will forgive. Mess up sometimes, I forgive and eat. Kind of vibe. You I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're not really yeah. a grudgeful individual. Nah, that, not really. Are. That just heavy in and that just going on, mess up what I have for myself and what I have going on. You know what I mean? So I do hold on to resentment. I do hold on to none of that negativity at all. It's a random thing to happen. Is what I tell you about this always happen. It's always happened when you record it. That don't happen. Never. Never. 
Yeah. <laughs> but no, <laughs> well, let it go. But yeah, you know what I mean. But um, yeah. So those those moments in life, really. So the accidents, accidents. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the other themes, love. Um, in mm-hmm. West High Baby, you was talking about and um, the young lady. I don't want to say young lady, little princess now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, because yeah. in my mind now, and so then that was almost like you're talking about paramount to stepfatherhood, kind of. I, I don't even know I what. Don't, that, I don't. I don't even like to acknowledge it like that. Or like because, fatherhood, or yeah, like yeah. The, the prospect of what fatherhood could feel like. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because then that I mean, in all fairness, that I mean, that, that legit that is like that could have been the past. Al- al- oh yes, alternate timeline. Yeah, alternate that, timeline. That, like, that was you there. Current day. That was like everything, everywhere, all at once. That was your path mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a next universe. Some somewhere in the Spideyverse or somewhere yeah. in the Jovers. Yeah. yeah, that's in because um the last guest I had was Clip. He grew up um in the Methodist Church and okay. he was getting. Primed to be a pastor. I know he rapping, mm. so it's like that's a theme. So yeah, this this all all of this started this church thing. Where like I don't know what's yeah. going on, and then look at me. <laughs> you know, what I mean, the, real talk. Yeah, yeah real just talk. Zoop, the, I, I, I know it. But the, yeah, it's not for the swift, my boy. But so the so in and you never at any point in time seeing that the road because this is your road not choose. And we and you have had this discussion where it's like. Yeah. The odds stacked heavily. heavily. <laughs> the odds is like yeah. you are going, and this is a road. Um, I, I, like it had a song, um, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. If you remember that song, I walk alone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's basically what you want right now. You're not Boulevard yeah, sure. of Broken Dreams. For sure. Your yeah, sure. only friend is your shadow to the right. You can't really depend on like a team. And you just had a tunnel vision towards that shit. To and- the- as long as your resilience and your will will carry you, and then, that's where you're going. Because I'm telling you, you nah, it's not just the is the rap thing first, then the rap thing in Trinidad second. Then it's like it don't have on it don't have on black men. It like it's like jeez. Yeah, yeah. Then on top of that, your specific themes is not really mainstream like that. You know, ain't talking about killing. You ain't talking about killing niggas. You ain't talking about damn um, bullying men, girl. You ain't talking about thing. You talking about like actual real to- life shit. topics which people. I don't know, like, I mean, they don't want to... I mean, I would say this. It have a place for it. And the whole premise behind the hit list as well is to incorporate that with mainstream sonics and mainstream hooks. Because that's what I wanted that. Like, yeah. um, hooks is really was grassing people. Like, mm-hmm. like really. it had to be kind of not stupid, but, like, it had to be, like, Catchy. And he's just yeah, like, like we're not that dumb, but you at the same point. Three, three, four, five, two. I like yeah, it. It, yeah. it, 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 it can't be as introspective as they want. Like uh, somebody was talking to them about this show, Hustle and Flow. Now Hustle and Flow is Rhythm and Flow or something like the Netflix show now. Mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. this girl had this um expert, like she writing well for. And then they bring in some expert and he was like, okay, does he hook there? All right, take out all and let's put that line. Yeah. And then she was like, nah, uh, this, this is about me. And, uh, yeah. and then she was like, she do it. And then this all mash up. Now. And I was like, so how much of that editing you willing to actually go through in terms of, because remember, we you have 100% creative control of the your, your um, projects, etc. Yeah. You're not assigned to anybody 100% independent, mm-hmm. whatever. You now have full creative control. Yeah. So at what point in time does the... Oh, well, I want to say, at what point in time does the limitations or like you just so in a bubble or you trapped in your own bubble, so to speak, because mm-hmm. you really don't have no uh, A&R telling you, look, here's the scene. You might have to sing the gunman song just to get, yeah. the, get the clicks or, hey, here's the scene. Let's, let's fuck that next man, bitch. Show me song. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's fuck the man, bitch. Any song. Yeah. Um, that's a hard question. Sorry. That's, no, it, that's it, a it's it's not a hard of a question because these are conversations I had with myself before too. Yeah, you know what I mean because I mean you have to keep it real with yourself at the end of the day as an artist I don't want to just have a small cult core fan base and then just pull up and do shows with two, three hundred people and just make that kind of money for the rest of my life you're trying to be an actual I guess mainstream mainstream star yeah staple I like that word staple staple because you're there you're there you're not just like Umbap 
Oh, I like that song. But you know, just like Umbap, you like our Backstreet Boys, where they had a, a, a era. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's about transcending errors too. Like, just to tie it back in, that's why I dropped the Big Drew thing. And I bring it over to Jordan. But um, yeah, I definitely had those conversations with myself. And that's... Like, dog, I went through a whole existential crisis. Like Stop just, using big words. I don't think, no offense, I don't know, existential, what? Existential? I just shook up. <laughs> I, I believe your audience will be able to follow me, man. But, um, College graduate, damn it. Anyway. Yeah, so so I, I went through this whole period of looking myself in the mirror in a serious way mm. and breaking it down to myself like, all right, you want to keep some artistic integrity with your music that you're doing because we've had this conversation like a lot of times I was like when I was like yo let's change our line and say this and I was like no no yeah and you, and you like like pull it teeth yeah like I, I was firm on that I was real firm on that but at the same time like I had a conversation with a home girl of mine big up mommy um she was like dog because you remember it's at that point in time in my career where I was just on the boom bap like pure risk kind of vibe yeah, like yeah, if, if people ever get to listen to uncharted territory yeah, they go boom, understand boom bap i love it but i love it, it too it's disco it's the yeah it's, the way, it's almost the way of the dinosaur at this point unfortunately it, it like blockbuster you know what i mean yeah uh, just and we're not talking about the netflix show we're talking about the actual blockbuster yeah, yeah. Ain't no more than bitches it, 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 no <laughs> no it's not a thing you know what i mean so i had to like, yeah, so I went through that. You had to keep this purest thing with the music and artistry. Mm -hmm. But then mommy let me know. She was like, bro, it's 2020, though. Like, <laughs> boom, tss, boom, boom, tss, boom, tss. no. <laughs> nah, it's our, it's, our, it's our people that pushing the envelope so much with music, yeah. the type of things that you're hearing. You had to be able to relate to... A audience, especially because she know the type of mindset I have and where I want to take this music to now, boy. Mm -hmm. So it's like she's doing music too, or no? Nah, 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 nah. Oh. She's like as, okay, like just a confidant, like a good homie mm -hmm. that would share some of the visions with that type shit. And um, she just let me know, like, dog, you gotta, you gotta keep it real with yourself if you wanna reach to that kind of level. You gotta kind of switch things up. And then I was like. I mean, you tell me this because, but, not because you hate, but you know, know the medicine, mean, sometimes the medicine, is it, it's it tough, it's it bitter, yeah, but, <laughs> but it, 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 it works. It help you, it's going to clear your throat, you know what I mean? And, um, she hated us, I have a peak and it was like, yeah. Yeah. And then I thought to myself as well, I want to be able to go platinum in 2023. I want to be able to have I don't even know how that has worked now, considering like with streams and stream, all of that streams. shit. Okay. Yeah, it's still like a million copies sold, considered platinum. Yeah. So with the amount of streams tabulated with the digital pur digital purchases and all of that shit. Yeah, that's how it will come to that. But what I'm saying is, um, in the midst of keeping my artistic integrity, I want to be able to sell out venues. I want to be able to appeal to an audience in 2023. Like a large audience, not just a small core. You know what I mean? The core fan base will stick to you, but at the same point in time, it's like. What do you want to make your core? Do you, do you, you want to drive the Civic for the rest of your life? It's, yeah, yeah you're I, good. I'm trying to whip in the wraith, my boy. Yeah. You know, okay, yeah. And, and on top of that, our core fan base are here is. To get a core family, to get a core family is number one, you'll probably get 100,000, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Mm -hmm. But then to get a core family is here and it's not so kind, it's nothing. Then you just niche in, niche, 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 niche. Nice. Until it's like you, your cousin, mm -hmm. best friend, your girl, your mom go buy it. Yeah. And, and then your brother is like, oh, yeah, yeah my brother's, uh, he's rather, uh, that kind of vibe. Just, just, just support it. Just support. The kind of vibe, as and opposed I, to. I, I don't want no handouts. I mean, I take in them. We are at this point in time. I take at this point in time. You know what I mean? But I want people to actually, when they press play on a Jordan record, they could actually say, well, oh shit, this slap. This, this. I rock it, with it this. It slaps. It slaps yeah. a lot. It slaps yeah, a lot. I'll tell you, I like leading. 
I I like Lenin. Appreciate that. I don't. I know West Side Baby. That wasn't my kind of specific thing because I was like, where we okay. because no, because I was like, where are we going with this? So okay, what Lenin? I was like. I thought the lies we that to me because you know I think I think it's cinematic Lena. So I I, yeah. I, I drive in wrong and I was just like I like mm. let's I, sometimes I just catch myself just in the zone just. But the only problem is audio can mark. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like okay, I gotta go here, click here, click here, click. I wanna put it on us on a, on a, on a playlist to be like okay, cruising. That's what I'm gonna Fair that, enough. But I mean, it, you see the thing with that is I can't throw that up on Spotify or any of them kind of shits because. Is a remix, is a refix. I don't own that beat. Like that's oh. a that's a Bryson Tiller Tory Lanez and Party Next Door song. So uh, that's the instrument that have, I use. It have any hope? I want to say hope that mm. you could get lean in mm. with the original beat and actually get like an album version to lean in. Is that a thing in the world? <laughs> nah, because it wouldn't have the same feel. That is true. That is but unless you can get somebody to legit or replicate the yeah, but you see, I I I think that is plagiarism too. Yeah, and I pride myself on not copying people's shit. So it it was just something that I had to get out. So it was that song was just free flow. I, I will find a way. I will find a way to work around this. I, I must mean, get this on Spotify. I think, I think I could probably just not monetize it. And that'll be nice. Do it as a like a that, that'll be cover cool. or something. That'll be nice. I will look into that. Thank you. Yeah, Th- I'll, thanks. I'll look, I'll look I appreciate into that. it. I appreciate this. It yeah. only took a while. Yeah, a little over. Yeah, it only took a, a, a finally. <laughs> this headlock finally would. Yeah, I mean, but, but yeah. um, yeah, because that was my main thing. It's just that I didn't want to go through right and fringe anybody. Go through N- that. Not, not even go through the therapy of having to put it up as a cover, but I didn't want to copyright infringe anybody. For it to get striked, for it to come down, for that to go on my artist profile type shit. Like, nah. Once the Once the Because it's algorithms at the end of the day too, then, eh? No, but then it's have plenty of mixtape songs that be on YouTube and them kind of stuff. And that was saying, so like, it's on YouTube. But, but, but to be on a DSP. Oh, yeah. that's what I was trying. So here's a, here's a shot that I was doing. So what I used to do now is just put like, like unreleased stuff. I was telling you, let's put it as the, on our podcast thing. If, it, if it's going to be for free, you don't get in trouble for it because you ain't monetizing. Yeah. That's why that's what I tell you bonus content. Okay, well, yeah. For, yeah for so sure, that could be like, yeah, if you want to hear the song, boop, ding, ding, and it's help me. So, <laughs> and then it's help you. And yeah, help so, me. I mean, even if it is like just throw it in the back of this shit. Trolling in the bucket so people get here and we're not having like, like like a fine to get a bonus thing for this. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm getting it. Yeah. I spoiled this wrong. I, I've won this wrong. <laughs> it's been won. You see, it's the trunks. It's the trunks. It's the, it's the trunks. <laughs> Deep death. Splash. I did do it. Um, yeah. So, where, where were we in the. Right. So, we talk about the creative, we, the creative process, and now you getting. 100% control because that's important to you in terms of that Definitely. and then getting on but are you willing to take coaching in oh, for sure for sure because like big up to Codename Space Man that's my engineer uh, uh, um, yeah that's my recording engineer like and he was the one top five like, in Trini for sure and he was the one who was just like one. He, he was the one that was like is he saying yo you saying that eh, don't say it like that say it like this and you went with it on like he helped me with that on come through yeah he I, was so like i gotta wait for this right. when, when, is, when is coming out no you see that's the thing right what is coming out that's the thing right because that's fornication I, music and that's it's fornication man, <laughs> and that's that that's song so wet in that funny that song is splash splash hit, hit that splash that song is splash yeah i had a dog dies pull a girl and bubble in a dance and but you're telling yourself after we leave here type shit, you know? Yeah, no, that's a that's a vibe. It's a vibe. I appreciate that. But and you know, I hate it. I hate everybody. <laughs> and hate everything. So when I tell you, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. That's like you see, like when vibe. it is the time, I'm like, dog. There is one. You know who else? Me that random, like dog. I just randomly walking through Kira, bunks up Cassie. Cassie was like, oh, because oh, I played the song with him. Your virgin played this summer and dog. Yeah, it's real bad. Yeah, yeah. When, when you're playing this song, yeah, thing, 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 yeah. thing, thing. Yeah. But it's very important one to put it out the right way. Yes. Two, to own what I'm doing. Yeah. And I mean, I can't 100% own it because it's a 
Yeah. Random producer that I find online and I'll go in and tell already the name. Yeah, cause go they, from here. You know, you know, men scum, you know, just like they the, disgusting. They, 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 they so just they're so disgusting. May we go and be like, hey, let me make a version to this shit. Type it up and thing on F you and this yeah. F you. Yeah, son. But <laughs> um <laughs> and at the same time is life just been life in boy dog way. Like adulthood sucks. I know, like legit. I wish we had known exactly what you wanted to do, like post teens. Yeah, and so you could have just lock in since F- then. Everything. Real talk. I when I uh, when I was especially that you know I'm not gonna be with this person. I'm not gonna be thing. And it's like not even take on certain girl. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah. And then it'll be it'll be like okay, yeah, you know for no, me. No, but then again, I wouldn't have the content. Huh? That would be true. I wouldn't that have the would, content. Then you'll just be like this, like as that men who I believe. They okay, they're lyrical, but they have no content. They're people whose content, but they're not really. I want to say lyrical, they're not like bar heavy punchlines, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's to get the balance, and then so I think, well, not I think, I know everything for a reason now, boy, yeah. But I mean, I don't want to, well, not that don't want to, I'm not going and say when the hitless come in, because dog, the hitless supposed to be out. I talking about. I got I got a piece of inheritance money all kind of thing. No, see, oh, hey, I, okay, I, hey, this trader that to me, you with a bro. That it's spent already. The money spent. <laughs> they going and find out that oh, the money, yeah, son, the, 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 money, money the money done went poof now, boy. Like I invest certain funds, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the shit, and, and then like, boom, COVID hit. After COVID hit, I was like, dog, f that. I still going on point it because you know when you just be leaving something so heavy is like. When certain barriers come up, you're thinking that, all right, this is just hey. another stumbling block that you had to just climb over. There's another barrier that you just had to run through. The COVID hit. I was like, F yeah. that, I still put money yeah. into it. Yeah, cool. yeah. My engineer come and get COVID, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, After yeah, I yeah, put yeah. money into it, I had to sit down for a while. The same guy, same... Yeah, player. same same code, same code name. Big up code name. Um, boom, he come and get better. We started get back into the studio thing. Boom, you come and get COVID again. It's like, dog, what yeah, are you yeah, doing? Yeah, that Rooney was catching men nice. Yeah, yeah it like, oh. and, it, and it's like, you hit a certain mental trajectory where it's like you're locked 100% in and the stars align. align. Mm-hmm. Dog, and then it's just like, God just had a little different not plot twist to hit you. Not for you. <laughs> not, not today. <laughs> not, not, not for you right now. Yeah, is that? You think he was going to do that Friday? Wrong again. Nah. Yeah. You gotta wait until yeah. whenever I, because I, dog dies. Dies two years now. Hitler's supposed to be out though. So how much songs are we talking about on his on his album? It went from well, it's not an album. I don't want to call it an album either. Oh. Because oh. it's just a collection of songs. It's not long enough to be called an album. Albums had to be like 14 minutes long at least. Oh, that's actual thing. Yeah, well, to be considered an album in terms of industry standards, and then it's e- then international it's industry like standards. A, it's like an EP then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I didn't want to call it a dog. It's a, it's a it's a it's a oh it's a hit oh it's, it's a, a playlist. It's, it's an actual hits. it's an actual hit list. It's a list of hits. Yeah. I was thinking something completely different when I t- when I turned it list. I was thinking like oh you just uh, it's kind of like how chromatics is do the wrap up and you just. Again on men, I thought it was like it's a combination of both of those things because oh. it's like I had to be able to talk my shit at the same time because yeah, I still wait. Men. I still wait to do the interlude for you. Damn it, that will come. That will come. But that had to be on something more important, like a uh, debut album type shit. All right, because no album yet. Good. Yeah, like, son. But okay, in terms of that now, in terms of albums and you being, would you be against? What's it? What I want to say? Get inside. Go into a label. No, I'm not against getting signed. I am against signing bullshit contracts. Well, yeah. One thousand percent. Cause yeah. dog, like you're gonna get a lot of that. And a dub a few of them already. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You've been not like not like to sign to no major record label or nothing, but certain management groups and Oh yeah. So well, I know I know about one which was kinda that yeah, that was kinda that was kinda weird. That dog was, shit. And I was like, and it had a next one where like, <laughs> dog, <shit>. dog. <laughs> so 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 here is this you now. Yeah, it had a certain individual that wanted to sign me to be the artist and they be my manager. Mm. Their management company 
part of the stipulations of this contract. This is what you're thinking about. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's it's somebody no, it, have more, it have more people like this. Okay. Dog, scumbags everywhere. Jesus. They're everywhere else. Jesus. Um, so yeah, some of the stipulations of this contract was, if it is, this person sells their company. Oh, you, they own you still, and whoever they sell it to. Whoever they sell it to, that's the, I sign to them. That's that's standard. That's, standard could eat. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That, that, Chew on these nuts. That's, that's which I, I don't even want to go, uh, like after we wrap, I could tell you about exactly when you, anyway, I would talk about it like, yeah. Yeah, we, we will get into it, but to me, Certain shit like that, just let me know, like, dog. But you gotta really fend for yourself out here because all well, of broken dreams. I told you, real talk. Because, dog, imagine I could have certain conversations with this person and they understand my vision for myself, they understand where I want to go with my career, and then they just get a nice bag when it is things start to pop, yeah. And sell that, and then the person that buy the company, don't give they rats don't share my they don't kind, give rats. yeah. And then I just had to go and Stay in the talk, yeah, pretty much. That's Me? That, that's that's quite standard. You, My life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your life, that's 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 standard. And what thank God now it have DSPs and these kind of things. But what they what they do have the advantage they do have like labels is there's getting music out there. They yeah, actually, for sure. For because sure. For to sure. get to get radio play, you could ask Chromatics to get radio play. I mean, is a scene. So I glad he doing that thing. I think I cracked the code on that too. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to drop the gem, but I think I cracked the code I, on that I, too. I, I think I cracked the code too. It's 200K. You're <laughs> fresh. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the code. It's fresh. Yeah, you have uh, that. Um, no, remember my cousin this thing? My father was managing him. I could tell him, like, you yeah. just go up by the thing and then, like, whoop. Like, yeah. Cut your flick. Yeah, it's like, has you seen that? That played right. Like, yeah, son. But, nah, I. Yeah. I yeah, no, I'm going to use that camera. When I do that, I'm going to use the camera on you. Just like, you yeah, have to. Yeah, I have to. Because like, yeah. <laughs> I want, I want the, math, the math come from. But anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, yeah. Where we was, babe? Yeah. No, so, yeah. You get inside. And then you have yeah, to be a yeah. proper contract. It had to be a proper contract for me to sign something. Um, I need to retain ownership. 100% um, ownership. Or yeah, 100% ownership. And that does not mean that I need 100% of the profit share. Ownership is different from the remuneration. I need to own my stuff. So when you look at the pump, is yours. I could I could cut my flick. If it is certain deals coming in, I have the say so to agree whether or not I want to do this because I have mm. certain routes that I would like to walk and certain routes that I am opposed to walking. Okay. You understand? So I could sign a deal, just let me own my shit and you could still share in the profit in a... And, and how much are the creative realistic. process they allowed to get into? No. I mean, they're not. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's still... My life is still me. I still had to live with where it is yeah. I put out. You'll take advice, world. but... I'll take advice, but ultimately it's up to me. Okay. For what it is I want to do. That independent... I tell you, you might have to stay that independent road with that one. Because... Yeah, the men, for men a while. Men look for a while. Plast, I've seen. Yeah, yeah, you understand plast, that they could just mold and do whatever they feel like and... I ain't him. Yeah. Understood. Him. Understood. But you yes. just know the road that you pick. It's tough. The road of a broken dream. The road of a hey. You know what I mean? There's a lot of your rings. There's Frodo and Sam and them trying to put our ring to Mordor through that whole effing yeah. part. I, I'm me a flicking ox. Just ox. <laughs> yeah, it's a scene. So, mm. lean in. Love that record. La, da, da, da. That's just that. So it is. The intro. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Honestly, it's easy to go off on a tangent. Here, where you go? Mm -hmm. and, uh, Honestly, it's easy just to go off on a tangent, but women whose hearts I held for ransom. Right, so. I mean, like, that's what we was talking about earlier in terms of the content. It's easy to just talk about bullying a man girl or just, Looking well, in this instance, specifically talking uh, about the women that I had relations with. You know what I mean? It's easy to just do that and try to just Get into your ego and just puff yourself up now, way. Mm -hmm. But lately, only but lately, the only thing, or the only thing that's on my mind has been stacking these chips. Need, need a milli every, every time. time, right? Yeah. It's the label, the clothing, the mm -hmm. rockaway co shirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. So that is Team Echelon. That's ah, the label. I was waiting for you. You didn't. You never. You never mentioned it. Not like at all. At not no point in this interview. And I was like, okay. I mean, we are time. Okay, you we are time. 
Yeah, so the label, the clothing, the hat that I'm wearing, that's Team Echelon clothing as well. Um, oh. It's called Galactic Spill. Big Up Galaxy, my cousin, dope artist. She's the one that created the image. And I just screen print it onto the dad hat. Um, Rockaway Caution, because you know, Jigga and them, that's what it was on. It wasn't just Rockefeller, it was Rockaway. You know the it weird part about this? Acumen. He's getting most of the credit for it, but like we don't ever talk about Dim. You know, big up Dim Dash too. Yes, Dim. Big up Dim as well. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big up yeah. you, Dim. Big up yeah. you, for and, sure. And, and the third one, I forget his name. Biggs. Yeah, Biggs too. Um, yeah. Okay. Own it outright, no half step it. Oh, you know what? I know reading it like, reading it like to understand, like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, now I understand. Okay, own it outright, no half stepping. So, yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. I need to maintain control, I need to own my shit. And I'm going to just be pulled in different directions because somebody decide, well, dog, I wear you do this, so you have to do this because I own you. Eat a dick. Whoa. Eat a bag of it. Um, <laughs> when. <laughs> When it goes time to when it goes when it's, when it's go, go time, time buckle in because I'm on it. Yeah, see if like, you, mm. you know when 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 this thing uh, going for real, it's not stopping. When the train leave station, whoever on the train, enjoy the enjoy ride. Enjoy the ride, you know. What I mean? If you're not the train, I mean it might have, it, it might have the bandoleros. I might just try to run up the side and just jump onto the train. You know what I mean? I follow with the money. <laughs> <laughs> Peep the vision douchey. of a Peep. Oh, well, I need to get my trunks. I want to get, like, if you can get one, like, a trunks with that brand. Because I try, like, oh, for oh, sure. You know, like, okay, uh, sidestepping is, like, um, legit every single episode I try to be in a different trunks. Then okay. when we get, like, they get, they're going to get crazy with it. They're going to have, like, I'm going to have goggles and all that shit. Yeah, they will deep dive part. So, like, That's every single up. time I had new trunks. Oh, yeah, TEC will definitely get some shit. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But um, Peep Division, our brother, when he zone in, oh, blessing steady hanging from the foliage. Mm-hmm. That's like... I don't know what foliage means. I'm stupid. The greenery, like the surroundings, the, yes, the, yeah. the, the energy within the ether. Like you're just able to see it everywhere that you go. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Keep it in the farm till we run this. Mm-hmm. Right? They shit weak, they sweet, they could peep the vi- they couldn't peep the vision. Yeah. Yeah, that was a shot, that was shots at me. I, I think he was talking about me there. Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> he, he was trying to shade. I wasn't. Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking about that nigga? Plant, plant if if it fall, plant it and great, you know what I mean? Wow. No, but who's talking about? Is there anybody specific or no? Is this- nah, I don't know about specific. That is just for people that just doubt in the vibes and you know, time go tell. Pretty yeah. much. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Some could pass for ushers after Sunday. So that was that, that's not about me. No, I that's why I wanted to talk about this show because I was like, Is he dissing me? Who's <laughs> who, who, some could pass for ushers after Sunday? So, who just talking about nigga? That's just people in general again. Because what usher after Sunday services do? I don't know, they just push their hand out for collection. Oh. Some could pass for ushers after Sunday service because they just feel that like they could just choke their hand out and get something when the vibes pop now, boy. Okay, so, okay, I didn't get that. I didn't get that one. Yeah, the bars just kind of do that sometimes. Yeah. No, I didn't know because, no, remember I trying to, sometimes I'm trying to make out what you're saying. That's why, like, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, because I'll tell you, because I'm looking for this thing on the others, like, oh, it's going to YouTube. Didn't think that. Stupid. Anyway, um, look, type of shit you're going to feel it in your spirit mm-hmm. when you're beaming in seclusion. Mm-hmm. Eradicating illusion. Eradicating illusions. Meaning what? Like, like when you're just taking time to go through that introspection and you're listening to the music and you're just taking any vibe or it it's supposed to connect to people that along a similar path as me, you know. It don't have to be music, but you're just taking time to yourself and you're rocking back and you're trying to figure out what it is you want to do with life. Mm. Eradicating the illusions of this is probably where I need to go or this is the path that I probably need to take but this is not going to be serving you properly to get to your desired destination. Because on this boulevard of broken dreams, that road, mm-hmm. a lot of things is playing in your head. Tricks and illusions. Yeah. So that's that going into that specific like, mm-hmm. hey, maybe you shouldn't do this shit. Maybe you shouldn't. Uh, Back to the existential hey, crisis that I've been through yeah. at certain points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Altering approaches to your everyday living. Yeah. Knowing if you work it's it this 
knowing if you work, work it, it this your moment. When not like you know what I mean? Meaning like altering the way that you're moving every day, like you're waking up every day and you're putting in the hours and you're working towards it. Me as an artist, writing a sixteen a day, even if it is I feel like it. Oh no, you do you actually like that's your I fall off a little bit. But yeah, that that was definitely an actual exercise that I about. used to do. The I was called going in the dojo. Like you wanna remember? Yeah, wait now. This is after spoke, in, this after I spoke to you when I was like, bro, you wanna understand a regular key blast will work here. Though. That was saying, yeah. So you actually went in the dojo and I was like, Yeah. Like, we can only cheat. Like, like, okay. Bro, that that being okay. the vibe. Oh, well, okay. So uh, yeah, I took advice. I, I get yeah, credit for that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For oh, sure. Okay. And you, you, why didn't tell me? You say no. No, no. I think. You, see, you, you don't have to announce. I wanted to say, hey, I, I give it you that one, but I was like, oh, okay. Don't think as a piece of shit. Okay, great. Nah, I mean, I, I, I ingest what I need to. Yeah, yeah. For Buffet sure. style. Somebody teach me that. Mm-hmm. Gotta take, uh, I don't want to shrimp, but I want the chicken or anything. Definitely. Rice with. Oh, cool. No, no, okay. Um, plotting the, this is when to me, when the verse, because I didn't realize this was the start of the verse now. Yeah. So, starting the verse, this is when the flow switch up, uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the cadence, uh, which is the part that I like on the song. Since LAE in the village, so, so, was, so, was, time, so plotting this since it was LAE, and it was all right. So, that's a moment in time again, like back in Grenada, LAE is Lancer Pain Point. Um, he from Grenada, too, right? like so, he, so, so you know about Lancer Pain Point, don't you? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that that's like a home. Yeah, mine. Um, his uncle had a fellow that we used to go to. Like we used to just skip school, like duck out from college throughout the day, and just go and rock back, build a vibe. Those dope times. Good times. Yeah. This was big group times. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't, yeah, didn't, yeah, didn't actually say that anything. Mm-hmm. Around the same time when I buck up on Kashi, so that a Kashona. Yeah, that's that's a girl that I was involved with at the point in time. Yeah. Okay. Same time, Esplin. Same time, Esplanade. Chrissy or Dinoa. Yeah. So it's like, remember, like, I started it easy to go off on a tangent about women who started off for ransom, right? Oh, so, so Kishon and Esplanade, Chrissy. Yeah, that's just women, you know. So all the, them days. all the noise, all the art? The noise, is the car. Like, I used to drive a Toyota Noah back then. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Before I done. Chilling, dripping at the before, tower. Before I had done a chilling, dripping at the tower, that was our next thing. Yeah, another shorty at the hotel that I used to manage, the King's Tower. Yeah. When I shared the vibe initiation at Bananas, Bananas is a club in Grenada. Initiation was a party that I threw back then, and like the crew that I used to rock with back then, um, all of us was creators now. Like, so you, you get them the. The, like the, we could we could we could do this music shit we could it, take over the world this was LABD them yeah. oh okay 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 um X vibe brother baby <laughs> what? X vibe ba- X vibe brother baby, baby mother want to know the measure yeah oh. so my ex girl you right she brother you right child mother you right want to know the size of my dick that's, that's what it's about it. yeah that's our next girl that's just a cool way to say it now boy well, no, yeah, I grasped. <laughs> well, uh, pause, pause. Yeah, poof, whoa. Hey, yo, hey. Hey, uh, yo. Um, <laughs> could have slashed a few times, knew better. So, yeah, that's... I beat it a few times, but I knew better than to bull my ex-girl, brother, baby, mother. Because uh, your yeah, ex-girl or because of uh, him? Morality. Because of me. That's just scumbag shit. Are, uh, you see that? You see that? That's why you should do something. Not because people watching, but people not watching. That's that okay. Yeah. What a stoic answer. Um, yeah. When my brother uh, came from Trini, put him on her, now I think. Uh, oh, yeah, it was. I read the shit. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. When my brother uh, came from Trini, put him on her, now I think. My brother uh, come from Trini, I threw my ex girl, brother, baby mother on heat. Because so how she I... wanted speed. So it was like, he come from Trinity, he's like, dog, sure, look good. So when I find me so trip, that was, that, that'd just be my, eat, that'd eat. be my food if I, I just, just do the alley. You know what I mean? It's up to you to dunk it. Oh, wow. Anyway, yeah. so, so it's coming that you do it, but that's coming that you treat your plastic the bone. Because she is not he girl. Bro, it had, but, but bro, it had nothing to do with that. I know, but you have to be like this stoic individual. No, for me, 
from me. That is my ex girl. But that's oh yeah, yeah. She had no link. She had no link. But but you passed no link. But you passed the ball, so it's like yeah. But I see he partner. Nigga. I wait until they have a song about... about uh, Bomb that shit. I, I don't ever get mentioned in any songs. So I want to hear about them two white girls and I'm kind of... But whatever. I mean, you really want to hear yeah, what I, I want to hear? I want to hear me reference. I want to feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Acknowledge me. Acknowledge me, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Anyway. Um, uh, all right. How, all right. How you really stay in the moment when the moment all passes never last this confirm. How you really stay in the moment when the moment all pass never last this confirms. This confirms it. Right. So that's basically in that moment. How are you supposed to stay in that moment when it which, is like which moment? going through these emotions with all of that? Like everything that I recount, those oh, were all game. moments. How are you supposed to stay in the moment when they never last? Like it had my ex girl, then it had Shorty coming out of the Noah, then it had Shorty who is in the towers, in the that, tower, then yes. it had Shorty. You want to know who, the measure? You know what I mean? Yeah. All of these are different moments mm. that pass, they never last, and this confirm it like you don't have to stay in those moments because they never last. Yeah. You know what I mean? You keep it pushing. Say you're holding out till I change for real. Say you're holding out till I change for real. real. Yeah. Um, City bar after that, like I, I don't remember context. Hope you still t- love what I reveal. The real, yeah. So that's basically another woman that's later on after all of that previous shit. Another woman I was involved with. Um, she <laughs> says she holding out till I change because apparently I wasn't the person I was supposed to be. Okay, no, I, okay, I, I, you know, I, 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 no, no, I think I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's like, I know. <laughs> say holding out till I change. Okay. For real. Okay. Okay. I hope you still like what I show you because that's I'm going to show you the real. That's what you, that's what you said. That's, that's, what, that's what I learned. Huh? No, no, no. I, I must come back and I'm trying to show you. No, I'm not. No. Yeah. Oh, never oh. that. Oh, okay. I'm trying to show you like this is the path that I am on. You don't agree with my path. And you trying to give me ultimatums and you holding out until I change and all kind of thing. Like, That's our next thing but I brought up what I broke on dreams, eh? Everybody trying to pull you off it. Shorty, I know about to change. Okay. I'm still here pursuing the dream. Like learn to embrace for who they are. That's you telling her that now. hmm And that's just that's just people in general. Like, it, it, yeah, yeah, the relationships is work way better if you just do that. I could agree. Um mm-hmm. not my thought of who they've been before. I destroyed the, their, their facade. Yeah, it's not of what you present to me, but what I see beneath the surface of what you're trying to tell me that you are, but who I actually see you for. You're trying to pre- you're trying to present a facade to me, you know? mm-hmm. like you're trying to make me fall in love with something that's not really there, and that ties back into the fact that certain shorty, she um, she show me things. Or she tried to present things to me that wasn't even real. Damn. Like, she created a whole caricature <laughs> and present that shit to you me. Get, you get the Frankenstein, boy. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's like, my girl, you didn't, you didn't even go to school there and you wasn't even... All is happening in the Greens? Living there. Nah, this is later on. I was showing you this, this is later in, on. This is in training. They, they some bagel. There's one that's living in bagel. Oh, oh God. Oh. Yeah. I know you way too long, my guy. Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so it's like a timeline and a build up. That, that's why I say the music is hey, actual these story guys of give you life. enough content, though, I'll get that because I warned you. I, I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Every single time, though. I was like, no, nah, I mean, it, it, it is not. Still, still don't listen because you, you again, I get this so old. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was it was a <laughs> bit much. It was a bit much. Okay, um, forget the position. Forget position of who you think that you are. This is that eight six eight brother who be airing out the whole damn block. Block. Bl- l- 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 yeah, block. L- 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 yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's self-explanatory, pretty much. No, I'm, I'm stupid, uh, bro. Oh no! Well, remember I destroyed the facade. Oh, okay. I I, I am that eight six eight brother that just. Busting up the block like I just destroying all of that shit that you're trying to show me. I'm not trying to show you. I see you. You know what? You know why? I see you. you know, okay, I'm not watching. I see I you. I see you. Uh, but um, 
the reason why I tell you explain it down because blah, 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 boss and all the men can think that as something completely different. Or like air and all yeah, the air, Yes, no. yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Figuratively, guys. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, no, that, that's what I said. Okay. Mm-hmm. Never met it, never met it this real since the best I done, mm-hmm. Biggie. Yeah. yeah. You used to call me Big Drew in the Spice Island. Oh, yeah. You know that? Sheesh. Hope you keep the frequency of brother beaming on. And this is what I'm talking about. Um, they would know rhyming. That's when, because I tell him, me and I'm chilling, was listening to it, and he was like, mm. Hope you keep any frequency of brother beaming. And he was like, That jarred. I was like, What do you mean? I was like, That's the best word to describe it. Because I was like, Yeah, because you're in it already locked into the thing. I was like, I appreciate that I could carry all of that. No, you're like, you No, know, it's that the lack of rhyming. And which you say, which you say is intentional, mm-hmm. is true. You often like listen, is, pay attention to what is that showing you. Like, it's kind of joke, yeah. Oh, pause. L- like live inside of this record right now with me. Like go there with me. Where I carry you, be there with me. Hope you peep the frequency, yeah, brother. Beaming on, beaming on. Break mm-hmm. through the barriers they have combos on. Yeah, you know, like kill and single. <laughs> As I thought you were talking about. No, not ultra. <laughs> um, I'm talking about like what we were saying earlier. No? Um, the, the odds are already stacked against me. So it's like breaking through the barriers of being a rapper from Trinidad in the Caribbean, where it's yeah, not. I'm yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, breaking through the barriers of being a rapper from Trinidad, where rap is not really the um, accepted genre for people to make it. Yeah. And breaking the combo like combination lock type shit so yeah I legit went killer instinct goal and I like to tell you I was like combo breaker I was like combo breaker I was like yeah that's good. what I was thinking I wasn't thinking nothing to do with a lock good thing I had a deep dive then because yeah yeah, yeah I legit. combo is just combination for the lock that they have on the door on the door. barrier that I'm trying to break through you see why I ask the questions because yeah keep that same energy of course Till you really add in value, no need for the discourse. You're showing that you're just on me in this morning. So my question to you is, do you feel a type of way? I feel like, about, I feel like, I feel like cut now. Is this ether is to this, your soul, is, my guy? Is, <laughs> like, did you wake up in the morning thinking, was I, was I like a picture of me? It's like, show you, nigga. <laughs> I promise you, 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 you is the furthest thing So, I not the, I's not the, I wouldn't be the worst. That, okay. No, no, no. Okay. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I still appreciate you for who you are because it'll just keep it real at the end of the day. You know? yeah. So it's not like if you're just trying to shit on me or anything, it's like, oh, you gotta cut the flick the right way, you know, but you know? Uh, nah, trying to learn on um, what's the word? Palatability in terms of my thing, at least. Your yeah, delivery? One. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I always like, yeah, this is a bowl of shit. Have <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, it is. And it's a better taste sweet. That kind of thing. But it's like, when I tell you, it's like the work, the work, yeah. It can't be no work week kind of thing. It had to be a hundred percent just work. I Man, gotta be like, what are you doing? Not by any studio again, boy. We do. You don't like what? Not by any studio again. I, I don't find this voice was good. I ain't, but bro, I got a better voice. This is not the best voice I could come up with. Thing, and you just. I, I appreciate that kind of shit too. You know what I mean? Nah, but, pff, uh, run back, run that back. Run, uh, I don't mind that. Call him, call him back. Tell him X Y Z. Anyway, mm-hmm. tell you really adding value. No need for the discourse. Yeah, you was talking shit all the time. Like, don't come and talk to me now until you actually have something valuable to add to the equation. This is about me, guys. I, I, I'm telling he you. Is, he is feeling a type of... No, I'm not cut. I'm cut. I'm cut. <laughs> Bend that jigger out. You got the weight up off my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. That jigger got the weight up off my shoulder. Either. This is the way I brought a fellow when rolling around in Nativa. This is the second car. Yeah. So it's like... In them times... I was on top of the world, dog. Like no, yeah, yeah. nothing could have, nothing could have phased me. Nothing could have made me feel no kind of way. It's like, all right, they ain't rocking with the vibe. Watch this. This is post right of middle finger. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Pretty much. Cool. Yeah. If you if you're slow, good job. If, if you know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> play playing catch up so loud, mess around and pause these speakers. Yeah. All right. Catch up. That's a reference to a Drake song. Where he was talking about um, if the person that running the game was wearing these shoes and he trying to put his foot on it, the seam splitting. I don't remember what song that was, but yeah, catch up, catch up is the name of the song. Um, zero to hundred and catch up. Oh yeah, yeah. And bossy speakers forget forget splitting the seams. People can't even see us. Yeah, because I mean, and I mean that's just how I feel. Trinidad and Tobago, not all they're talking to me though. 
Trebuie să comentezi pe pop shit. Like, no, no, oh, God. Așa se vea feel. You want somebody to run up in the studio for me, you know? That's just the way I feel. Okay. Three years back to back to back. The crash derby. Yeah. That's the accidents. Mm-hmm. Um, same time every year was I a mark to me. Was I marked? Like yeah. somebody, somebody do some, somebody juju me or somebody trying to get me out of here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is that Jigga mixed with Gary V? v- I don't know. Who the fuck is Gary V? Uh, like, you know think, Gary V? No, Gary I think Gary V. That, that's the guy um, who is the big sales marketing guru. Because I, I mean, look a lot, like... A lot of people just kind of talk down, but bro just make bare bread off of just hustling. Because so I was like, like, Gary V. Yeah, Gary V. In the is, um, so that line is basically Jiggas and Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. All right. Mixed with Gary V. So the hustle... Mixed the, with the, the business acumen. The, you know the, what I mean? The talent of Jigga with the business acumen of Gary V. Well, with the business acumen of Jigga as well. With the hustle of Gary V. Ah, okay. Just, okay. you know what I mean? Looking for Michelle slash Oprah, who... Whoever you want to be. You know what I mean? I'm looking for a woman that... She could be like a Michelle Obama. Or a Oprah. With the stacks. <laughs> So I don't mean you, bro. Why? Why can't you, bro? I don't know, Oprah. Oprah oh yeah, there's no shady there. You're looking for a thing with money, or or a woman that could actually <laughs> compliment, that could compliment my vibe. I'm not looking for a woman with money, but it would be nice to have a woman that has her own money as well. Uh-huh. You know that kind of way. Not, okay. Not, not a girl that. Where buying for me? No, yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. yeah. Plenty of them is expensive. Go from here, girl. It's plenty of them is expensive and never high income. Nah. Never. Oh. A- anyway, it's never. Uh, I, I, like, we throw the red pill, like the red pill discussion. Yeah, for we, another, we, we yeah. don't get into that. Yeah, one. yeah. We were talking yeah. about. Um, so, yeah. um, so, I ain't so look, be a Michelle Obama. I ain't know? looking for love. Need a woman who understand to navigate the above. Yeah, because this Boulevard of Broken Dreams is a serious thing. You gotta be able to rule with the punches if it is a woman gonna be on my arm or a woman that I rocking with, that I vibing with. Because like I say, I'm not looking for love. It love be a, you're not looking for a partner? No, no, no. Nah. I'm just looking for somebody that, you know, I can vibe with. Like, you on your own vibe, you doing your thing, you trying to reach your level of success that you trying to attain to. So then marriage, mm-mm. At the moment, I, I don't even care about getting a girl, dog. I don't want to hear nothing about marriage. I ain't even trying to find a girl. Huh? Yeah. I'm not going to ask the next question because that's our obvious answer. <laughs> leave it alone. Leave it alone. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> just rocket it. Yeah, that's, uh, we, if you know, you know. We could have do some other shit. I mean, that Vill mix with T.O. in the morning shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, um... Drake yeah, and Jake or so. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, if you're not on that type of time and you're just trying to... You oh, you're talking I mean? with the check? Oh. Yeah, the shorty that could be a Misha slash Oprah. If you're not on that type of time to rock with the boy and just vibe with the boy on that kind of level, if you just want to, you know what I mean? If you just want to cut off flick, get it steamy <laughs> and then keep it pushing, we could do that I, too. I, I I don't subscribe to any of these things. Just by the way that... Yeah, that's just me. That's just him. That's just... I don't be your dad. I mean, I, I believe in honesty being the best policy. Policy, yeah. yeah. I mean, does it work? In, in it does. It does. It, it, oh, okay. Women appreciate when you just keep it real with them. No, I talk about that kind of like, yeah, he's, you know, just looking to dig out your back. Brazen honesty. To beat off your clothes and... I just trying to beat your back in. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> A few times if you're done with it, we could do this. Film, huh? <laughs> that's not that's not nice. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't try this at home. No, kids. but she on that type of time too. So it's not like if I try to cool her yeah. into doing something that she don't want to do. No, no, I never say that. I just want to get a back break into the. Like. <laughs> no, I seen it for my things because like I'm not telling, but like I got good role model and stuff for you. Like, hey, you remember you had a your fridge? And I think it's like, yeah, fair. I, I don't subscribe to what you're seeing there. That's a horrible. That's a horrible life choice. No Don't problem. subscribe. No problem. Um, Shorty, if you're with that vibe, I'll ask your boy, you know? <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, I mean, too discreet for the hot topic. Yeah. I'd much rather fly with it in a G36 bad. I'd much rather fly low with it in a G63 bad bitch than to top me. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what you say? Oh. Yeah. What G63 is a G wagon. It's a G wagon. Yes. Benz. Hot topic. I ain't trying to be in the chitter chatter. I ain't trying to be front street with nothing like shh. If we cut in a flick, that's between me and you. Your sister and them don't need to know because your sister and them is talk too much anyway. 
Yeah, so that just between me and Maybe you. we should have done another song. I didn't realize the song so it's not so so see you know. The, the mean, song is real steam boy. It's, it's a nice mix. It's, it's a nice it's, mix. No, because it, it's it, I was dry. Uh, this was to me was a cruising song. I don't wasn't thinking it was all of that there. It's and, yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might not stop. I have to stop listening to the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's steamy. How to get that one? It's steamy. Um, mm. you, you feel me? Mess around. Start a drink while I'm at it. Yeah. Head like an epidemic. Leave the game pandemic. I mean, mess around, start a drink. Oh, oh it's a rock. Start, yeah. start a little drink, brand. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pedal like, like an epidemic. epidemic. Leave the game pandemic. What? Shut the game down. Pedal, well, pedal like an epidemic. Oh. Because you know, that's what it is doing. It'll just pop up in Africa, them oh. pharmaceutical companies, and just Kills. test this shit. Cures. And you know what I mean? Vaccines. Mm-hmm. Hope you understand where I'm heading with it. Yeah. I hope you understand where I'm heading. Oh, well, heading, heading. Mm-hmm. Trying to take it to... I go straight to the top! When I have a... Wait, that was like a noise? Like... Nah, that was like an like a outro, like how the intro was, a kind of an eight or something. Music? Okay, put him on the stage. Okay, well, you don't know. That's, that, that's like an outro, kind of. Yeah, I mean, that, that's self-explanatory. I think uh, yeah, I, I, I want to get into that shit, too. Oh, you want... Oh, you want... You know? Okay, cool. But ever since I stepped up in this thing, I believe none of the talking to me. <laughs> okay, ever since I step up in this bitch, I've been man. Put me on stage with any rapper from Trinity, you'll understand. Like yeah. Floyd undefeated as it stands. You feel me? Floyd Mayweather. Point mm-hmm. out any rapper claiming that they have ether. Mm-hmm. Claim they spit Colombian, Bolivian. Bolivian. Care about either. I don't that, care about none of them. Mm-hmm. Continue. Because that brother Joe Don, that Peruvian breather. So we know. Feel me? Oh, you know, we want to pause. Uh, apparently, apparently. What, so basically what I'm saying is, right? Peruvian cocaine is the best cocaine of all. If it is all, all you're claiming, all you're just spit that hot shit. So why spitting? Ice or? <laughs> hot ice. Hot fire. Like Dylan. I, I definitely but, not spitting no Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan was Dylan is my top five rappers, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, he and the other four Dylans. And the other four. And anytime they want smoke, Tell them holla the boy echelon done west side word. shit eight six eight is the island you dig claim mm. you have no spitters try again you b- oh yeah, yeah bitch. bitch and that's just so people around the world know now boy you know what i mean so, don't feel we don't do this thing here in trinidad and tobago too but, like that's a major part of but, my vibe too w- one thing i will say is that um trinidad rappers is like trinidad filmmakers they hate other Trinidad filmmakers. And they hate other Trinidad rappers. I was like, going to pick with you with that shit too, but go ahead. What was, what, now what, go ahead, go ahead. Finish your thought, please. Oh, no. In terms of... You Trinidad don't, rappers don't like other Trinidad, Trinidad rappers. Like, they're not fans of Trinidad rap. No, no, no. no. You see, all right. Let me clear it off one time. I am a fan of Trinidad rap. Well, like, you know, I'm going to ask the question. Selectively. Right? You know, I'm going to ask the question, right? At the, sure, sure. At the end, sure. that's the, always the final question. All right, well, fair enough. Um, I, I read Trinidad rappers, like... My quiz. Bad. We get, oh, wait, nah. so we want to be going to the top five part. We can do the top five because I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't really have a top five like that. Everybody says that SH. And that's why I was saying, like, all of his rappers, guy, like, all of, are they supposed to be friends and fans? Not friends, but like. No, I, I am definitely uh, an avid researcher of all things hip hop in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world. Like, I am very abreast of the landscape of hip hop. You know what I mean? So, like, Mike Wise, I rate you. Shem, I rate you. So, you uh, your top five is your top five Trinidad rappers. That's not you. Uh, top five Trinidad rappers, that's not me. This took a while with the last guy, because he was like, oh. Yeah, because, let me see. Mike Wise, obviously, you me in here. Yeah, for sure. Mike Wise, for sure. Shem, for sure. I don't know, Shem. What? Oh, damn. Yeah, he used to go by Young 33. Um, <gasps> oh, okay, I think I know that guy. Well, Spay. Okay, so, okay. Doesn't that be rappers? Could it just be top five Trinidad music artists? Okay, I could do that. That that a lot easier to do. That's what I was trying to get with the last the last thing. That's like, a lot easier for me to do. Top okay. five musical artists. Wait, how to be? Ka, it can be Suka, obviously. No. Nah. Um. Because yeah, I still put Mike Wise in that list. Mike Wise gonna get a prize at the end of this year. You know, every single time I ask the question, his name rings bells. Yeah. Or, or he dope. He dope. Um, you see, the thing is, he hasn't been releasing a lot of hip hop. 
Yeah. No, he hasn't released that. He hasn't released that while. No, no, big man thing. He running yeah, that like he, he been doing kite so and thing too, and he running a radio station. Running anything, I bro, I understand. I bro, I yeah, it. I fucking understand. Um, um, likewise. So yeah, Mike Wise. I'll push him in there for sure. Um, um, Majesties. Majesties. Okay, I have to um, Google this. Yeah. Dope R and B alternative on, artist. Is he on Spotify? Uh, I think so. It better be, cause should be. Um, who else play? Um, it's so many of them, dog. It's so many of them. Like Roy Roy Simmons up there for me. Okay, that's four. I get it, yeah, bro. That's four. Yeah. Um, Roy Simmons is what R and B too. Yeah. You think you like that? You like more R and B than actual rap? No, it just have more R and B than rap. What killer B? Killer B there too. You know what I mean? Crap. It's just that um that, that top five. Yeah. No, well, let's see. I, I didn't want to say her specifically, even though she is definitely on the top there. But um, in terms of content, I need more content from her still. Okay, because I because I meant you know me. I message just like, hey, where can I find these songs? I do. Yeah, but like I know she, she has. Where can um, I find these songs? Nothing else. Because I had her on my podcast as well. Yeah. Um, when the grass was greener, that's a that's a dope project. Like I rate it. I just want to hear more from her. Like in oh, that so she vein. does. She doesn't have the uh, longevity of songs. The discography. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I can understand. Yeah. So, um, last one. Five. Come on. It's important for me to just think a little bit more now, boy, because, I mean... Because, you know, actually, they're top five all-time rappers like that. That wouldn't even be like that for me. What? Yeah, big man thing. It wouldn't. You are not the crack pause. I don't want to see what I would do. Pause. Uh, oh, I do. Uh, uh, I do. In fact, you got that drop, boy? Pause. Yeah, but... Yeah. But, um... You're holding up my time. <laughs> somebody, somebody else that I think I led to, Rose Gold Bentley. Oh yeah. Rose Gold Bentley. Okay, so he will be your number five. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, for now. Okay, so top five. Top five for now. Top five. Wise, Shem, Roy Simmons, Majesties, Rose Gold Bentley. I never, I never heard any songs. So he that worked because I know he was, was on the He was on the pod. He led. He had to take in his um, EP. It's on Spotify and everything. East West Corridor. Of course, they call it East West Corridor. I love it. You know, he's what I mean? East man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. He, 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 I, I gotta like, reach like, out to that it's guy. So it's, so it's so trendy. It's so trendy. No, that, that's, that's why I always put make it up on on top of that because men is like nah, they don't like the Trinidad accent. I always mm-hmm. put make it up on in my top five because mm-hmm. that album. You ever yet? I did. I did. That album to me was so East West Corridor. You from like I was like, dog, this kid too. Know. Had to eat a food out here. Though. You know, like like I meet him sometime randomly too. He cool as hell too. Yeah, he, like, is, yeah. he is. To this day, I meet him in um in a open mic vibe that I had in Kaiser Blue some time ago. That that's why I yeah. like the same open mic thing when it had in you and he pull up there like two three. Um, Spanish because this is before Spanish. He was like it. I in, think yeah yeah. It yeah, was yeah, like yeah. years ago. And I was like. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Might and he just pull up there. It's like, yeah, what's in? But, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I was always put them in. I was always put them in there for that one. Well, you album. see, that's crazy too because you see, it, I mean, yeah, like one album. Somebody that I will give an honorable mention beside Killer B too is somebody like Hey Choppy, and I talking about his alternative music. Now I, have no, I have no idea who Hey Choppy is. Dog, I don't. This so kind of like that. Well, fair because I mean that's what he mainstream known for is Soka. But dog, the man have alternative songs like superhero. Um, dog, I don't want Spotify. I yeah, go on, I want to dive on the Spotify. I yeah, do some homework. But dog, yeah, the, so the dog wet with it. International, yeah, actual all time five. You see, the right. point I always bring up the top five Trinidadians because you as a local thing. I think you should be at least consuming. What you're trying to be up? I just I just listen to everything Trinidad and Tobago music. Okay, good, good, everything. good. Because you can't get a top five, bro. By default, no, you top because five. I know everything. So to find a top five is like I'm gonna get top through. five rappers, bro. 
I had to sift through. I had to sift through because top five rappers. I mean, it's a man like Shiloh. I don't know. I was showing you. It, 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 I, I, I don't know. I gonna, It's like a they, flicking toothless. Shem, um, Lem cousin. Oh wait, now so you actually you consider yourself a fan of? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like good. I, I listen to everything. Good. I pay attention and, and, to and, everything. And I consume everything for real. And you put yourself on top of the hill. Right on the hill. Yeah. On the apex of the hill. And you see the thing about it is, I believe when Hitler's drop, a lot of people are gonna share our sentiment. I gonna hold my mouth and I'm gonna drop. We'll I, see. I, well, when we'll you when you work on the album and thing off your back so you can like because you know I'm trying to get bonus content, but you'll give me leaning. Yeah, you will give me leaning. For sure, for sure. And I'll get to but but yeah, I'll say top five uh Internationally, all time. time. Rap was the mm. Mr. Rapper. Kendrick up in there for sure. I'll put Cole in there. Um, Kendrick Cole, Kendrick Cole. Yeah, because I mean, you're still kind of, I wouldn't say similar, but in the same it's in that family, avenue. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'll put Jay Z in there just because of what he mean to the culture. No one has a rapper. When are you doing enough it as numbers? Nah, I don't have it as numbers. It is. Um, who else? Like, these are not things that I just actually think about, to be very honest with you. Bruh. No, for real, for real, for real. Because, I'm, and I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the content of the mainstream greats that everybody else has consider. Do see it. You're going to get a real flag for do see it. Do see it. It is what it is, bro. I. It doesn't resonate with me. That, that was where you do this just now. That was good. That was good. Yeah. You can get miscongeniality with that one. I like that. You know what I mean? But um, in terms of pure skill, This is the long Sai Hai. Sai the Prince. Sai the Prince. Sai Your top skill. five of, of all skill. time. Skill. Rappers. Okay. Skill. Um, Damn. So we have four. Jay-Z, Kendrick, J. Cole, Sai Hai. Five. That's a crazy top five. You you remember you laugh, you laughed at somebody's top five. I was like, you know top five is a string new school guys. Jigger. And not even Jigger for rap. Why is Jigger? Because oh. uh, J- J- Jigger for rap too. Okay. But I mean also encapsulating that what he means to the culture. Yeah. But, um who's that fifth person that I'll put in there, boy? You it's, just wanted to make this more than an hour and a half. You couldn't have just we was gonna need uh, like you string me. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yes, yeah, right, fair enough. Cause I really do, I really do. I do um, pay so attention I, to this type shit. So you have a top four. I have a top four. Lil Wayne, Eminem, Drake. <sighs> Drake. Drake is my favorite artist of all time. Well, then that's your top five. Drake is my favorite artist of all time. Oh, you're my favorite rapper. Oh. He's my favorite artist of all time. Um, so right, yeah, get yeah, cool five as a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake. So I would. Uh, this I, I, would, I wouldn't put Drake on my top five. Oh, of rapper. top five. Can you rappers? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, leave that alone. That's crazy. Um, I did not mean to disrespect you, Mister West. Um, mm. top five rappers. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, see, I don't just want to just give a generic answer to no. At this point, you should. <laughs> <laughs> All right, screw it. Let me just throw like a, a Nas in there. Then. <laughs> <laughs> if we're just doing it for doing that sake. Oh, yeah, yeah, time yeah, constraints yeah, something yeah, and also. Yeah, yeah, Nas, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me just throw a Nas in there then. Wow. Yeah. You want to meet these men one day, you know? I'll I just, know. And I'll let them know, like, like they rush me. They, I mean, I wasn't trying I, to do I, that. I didn't know? get time to think about this quick. Because I don't really think about this kind of thing. Yeah, that's like them, and it didn't already. Yeah, because you see, it's, it's different things that I pull from different artists. Oh, okay. Buffy yeah. style. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Then again, he really could have a favorite. I don't know. That that's the main thing. Anyway, but we can get him much. Um, um, it's a fine year. Blah blah blah. Blah blah right, blah well, blah. In terms of the the artist profile, at Jodon T E R. That's J O D U N T E R on um I G, Twitter, Facebook. Just Jodon J O D U N. On for the label T Echelon. That's at T Echelon. T E M. E C H E L O N mm. on Instagram, T E R eight six eight on Twitter, mm. and T Echelon on um, FB Facebook. Um, for the clothing line, T Echelon Clothing on IG and on Facebook and on Twitter, T E C eight six eight. You got that right. So, mm. thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank okay. you so much for passing through, guys. Thank, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, well, you see me, as per usual, we're going to try to get us out as quick as possible. Good. Uh, thanks for coming. You see, you, in your mind, I think you thought it was going to be worse than this. I think. So. No, no, no. I actually had very high hopes. Oh, yeah. And it, it was, it was it less. It met expectations. It, it was less. It was less than that. No, no, no. It, it, was, it was on point. It was on point. Like, I enjoy it. I enjoy it for real, for real. Right, so that's what you do. Tell all your famous um, reference come come through. We get a nice little profile and stuff. Yeah, just say the word. Just yeah. say the word. Anyway, Deep Dive, Splash. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Deep Dive. We hope you enjoyed learning about the career and lyrics of our featured artists. If you want to support our podcast, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash deepdive868. Your support helps us continue to bring you new and exciting artists. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on The Deep Dive.